I'll always remember visiting Uganda's oldest and largest national park, Murchison Falls. When I went there while filming Walking the Nile, the breadth of wildlife was simply breathtaking. Today, however, the park faces a challenge. Families living nearby are struggling to live. Food is scarce and income opportunities are very rare. Some people lay traps in the hope of catching bushmeat to feed their families and sell. But the traps are indiscriminate and endangered wildlife such as the Rothschild giraffe are getting caught. One such farmer living close to the park is a Jenny. Matele meneni ya jenyo alo wade kuwa keni ni wego wade ginyo alo kakeni yeni. Kaya endega menyo alo kakeni yeni. Isa de kid gidma yanga beka shedo kodo. Moku nungu de mulo pego kidma yanga shaka kodo jya. Ka pe nyongu tiye ngate ma chopo sheda sheda pe. Matele meneni ya nungu itiye ko pe nmi olibe shamo kodo malengu. There is hope. Charities Send a Cow and Tusk are teaming up to support the people of Murchison Falls National Park and to tackle the issues which drive people to poach. The driving force behind coming into the park to lay traps is actually poverty. Because I can't feed my family, I, I, I want to send my children to school. What do I do? I have to take the risk. This wire snare you see, mm. it is indiscriminate. Mm. Any animal that come across it, it will be trapped. The thing is that we know the solution. If we assist them to grow their own food to feed their families, provide them with alternative livelihood uh, options, and engage them so that they appreciate and understand the, the importance of the wildlife, then we can change the situation. I really believe that animals and people can thrive alongside each other. Donate to the Living with Wildlife Appeal for the 14th of April and the UK government will match all public donations. With fewer than 2,000 Rothschilds giraffes remaining in the wild, we have to act now. And to donate, please visit the website. Thank you.